Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across what you perceive to be an error message that it constantly asks you if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So this typically has to do with the user account control settings. So if we went into the search menu here and search for user account control. Best match, I'll come back with change user account control settings. Go ahead and open that up. By adjusting this sensitivity, it will affect how often you receive these notifications. So if you make any changes in here, for example, you might see a little user account control button. You'll see a pop-up like this. Go ahead and just select yes if you want to allow the app to make changes, and then no would be if you do not want to allow that app to make changes. So that's typically the message you're probably receiving. So if you want to turn it off entirely, you can just toggle it to the Never Notify option, which I would not suggest doing. However, that would just completely turn it off. This acts as a security feature on your computer. That's why some people might be looking this up as some sort of error message, when in reality, their sensitivity might be set to Always Notify. You may just want to go ahead and toggle that down to the Recommended option, which is the second from the top, which is Notify Me Only When Apps Try and Make Changes to My Computer in which case that would probably be the happy medium in there. I know this was an issue back with Windows Vista, and then Microsoft made some modifications to their user account control settings in the Service Pack 2 release of Windows Vista, I believe. So it generally hasn't been too much of an issue since. However, if you set it to always notify, you're going to have a lot more pop-ups in that regard. So I usually just recommend keeping it at the default selection here, second from the top, and then select OK. And then yes, and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.